Hi there, everybody. My name is Andrew Smith, and I'm a sophomore here at CMU. And today I'd like to take a little bit of time to discuss two key things that helped me to develop my work ethic here at CMU. So the things that people choose to spend their free time on, especially in the very developmental stages of life, can have heavy, long-lasting effects on what the rest of the individual's life will be like. When I was in high school and middle school, I really struggled with developing a meaningful, long-lasting work ethic. And there was a point when I decided that the poor quality of my work was completely unsustainable and that I needed to do something about it. Today, I'll be discussing the two key ways that my work ethic was forever impacted, and those two ways were wrestling in my photography business. The first thing that I tried was to join the wrestling business, it was to join the wrestling team, and that turned out to be a major success. The hardship that I faced alongside my teammates really taught me a lot about being a hardworking individual who never gives up on the things that he wants. A few years later, I decided that I needed some income, so I decided that I wanted to start my own photography business at 18 years of age. Joining the wrestling team was a big fear of mine. I was always small and scrawny, and I had little to no athleticism in my build. I noticed that over the last few years, I'd begun spending a lot of time inside of my house, and that if I wanted something to be done about it, I needed to do something and bring myself out socially. So what first started out as a playful little after-school activity quickly turned into every single day grinding out on the mats and pushing myself to be the best that I could be. And the entire experience really taught me a lot about never giving up on the things that I care about. And even in times of immense hardship, I needed to remember why I started in the first place and that the reward was always on the other side. When I started my photography business in 2018, it began teaching me a lot about what it meant to be a highly active individual who cares and handles their work. I began interacting with more and more people, and the more that I interacted socially, the more I realized how cool it was to be somebody who pushes themselves hard to do the things that the average Joe wouldn't, and that's what separates the good from the great. This made a huge difference in me, and when I finally decided to make a commitment to really pushing myself to be the best at everything that I do, I started to be much happier and developed a sense of strong pride in my work. Overall, the value and intensity of my work ethic has really shined at every job that I've held since, and it really shows especially in my schoolwork. I put my heart and soul into everything that I do for college because I know that it's the only way that I'll feel truly satisfied and <laughs> not go insane from the copious amount of money that I'm spending on this that I just don't have. So a strong work ethic is very foundational to my personality and it taught me a lot about what it means to be a highly effective contributor to society and my relationships. And for that, I would not trade a single thing. Thanks for listening, everybody.